Hello guys, good day to all and we're back to our weather analysis. This is for today, Wednesday to Friday, June 18 to 20, 2025. This is our English version, virtually by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamakili Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. Now, let's begin with our update. It looks like the uh, monsoon break continues to prevail across the country and over the Western Pacific, devoid of any uh, tropical cyclone formation except for some tropical waves roaming across the Western Pacific. So right now, we are still uh, also moving into the uh, dry phase of the modern Chilean oscillation. That's why we don't have any tropical cyclone activity across the Western Pacific Basin, okay? And here's the uh, latest graph set that we created uh, yesterday, Tuesday, until uh, Thursday, valid for the next 48 hours. And we are still seeing uh, some dominant easterlies, bringing some uh, afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms across the eastern sections of Luzon. Meanwhile, we have here a developing uh, tropical wave just exiting the western sections of Luzon and bringing some thunderstorms from Ilocos region down to the western sections of central Luzon as well as it includes Metro Manila, uh, Mindoro and the northern tip of uh, Palawan, the Kalamayin Kumab Islands so expect thunderstorms from scattered to widespread scenario okay so watch out for possible uh, uh, medium risk flooding across these areas but in the morning it will be uh, returning back to normal but in the afternoon evening for the next 48 hours there will be another wave of uh, thunderstorm activity okay the IDCJ is well very close to the equator and we have here another uh, tropical wave which is not expected to intensify now let's take a look at the latest uh, fast animation from cyclonicwx.com. This is the Himawari 9 uh, fast loop. Okay, and uh, here's now the uh, uh, tropical wave moving across the West Philippine Sea and expected to uh, dissipate within the next couple of days. And the East release will continue to prevail over the eastern sections of the country. All is quiet across the Western Pacific. Now let's take a look at the zoom in satellite animation. This is from windy.com and you can clearly see here the uh, fast moving uh, tropical wave which is now here over the West Philippine Sea. As you can see some animated lightning strikes can be seen. While across Luzon, Bicol region, Palawan, improving weather, and we expect some sunshine in the morning, but in the afternoon or evening for the next two days, I expect some isolated, scattered rain showers and thunderstorms. And as we take a look at the uh, latest uh, wind and pressure forecast from the European model, this is uh, for the next uh, five days. Okay, we will be uh, giving you the uh, forecast until Monday, June 23rd. So, uh, later this afternoon, Wednesday, we expect the easterlies to prevail across the eastern sections of the country. Southwest monsoon is uh, absent right now because of the monsoon break. We have a higher ridge of high pressure, bringing some easterlies across Taiwan as well. And uh, on Thursday afternoon, the uh, Philippines will still have some light winds from the east, while the inner portions of the country and to the western sections, we expect calm conditions to variable winds. And uh, this will persist uh, all throughout the week. And on Friday and Saturday, we are seeing some renewed southerly and southwesterly winds over the West Philippine and South China Seas. And it includes the areas of the Kalayan Island Group. While over the uh, archipelago, the rest of the country will have uh, calm conditions with light winds blowing from the south. 
Here's the high pressure cell. Here's an upper level low, which is expecting to, which is expected to bring some good weather across the western Pacific without any development of low pressure system. Sunday, same southwesterly to southerly winds over the western uh, Philippine Sea. Come conditions with, with very light variable winds across the country as well as on uh, Monday. Okay. And uh, as we take a look at the uh, rain forecast, this is uh, valid for the next five days until Monday, June 23rd. It looks like every afternoon we are expecting isolated to scattered rain showers and thunderstorms in most parts of the country. So don't forget to bring your umbrellas, rain gear, as we are expecting thunderstorms but if we look into saturday and sunday most of the thunderstorms are only concentrated over palawan and the visayas while the rest of the uh, archipelago will have thunderstorms over uh, portions of uh, luzon and uh, mindanao and then on uh, monday afternoon we are again expecting some severe thunderstorms to occur in uh, most parts of Luzon, becoming more frequent over uh, the southern Tagalog provinces, central and northern Luzon. So expect this uh, heavy rainfall in the afternoon, which will last for an hour or 30 minutes. It depends on the size of these uh, thunderstorms. Also across Mindanao, and that will be on Monday, June 23rd. It's still quiet all throughout the uh, five-day period. As for the waves, there's nothing to mention here. For the next five days, the winds, the waves over the East Philippine Sea will be uh, less than a meter in wave heights. Over the central uh, waters of our country, it will become to just uh, about uh, almost half a meter in wave heights. And over the West Philippine Sea from the Kalayan Island Group to the west of Palawan, west of northern and central Luzon, the waves will be less than um, uh, 0.5 to a meter in wave height. So calm, light uh, waves will be expected and very suitable for fishing and sea travel. So for those fishermen that would like to uh, uh, fish around the Philippine waters, go ahead it's okay but it's uh, all right to venture out to the sea but don't forget in the afternoon or evening there are some squalls generated by thunderstorms so it's better to perform your activities during the morning hours okay and uh, for the uh, latest uh, MGO status of the Western Pacific right now, it's uh, moving back into the Indian Ocean as you can see it here uh, beginning uh, yesterday or two days ago, June 16, valid until July 1st. We are moving into a dry phase of the modern engineering oscillation as you can see here, that uh, yellow-orange color. So that's a sign that we are on the uh, modern uh, Julian oscillation dry phase okay meaning uh, we are in the monsoon break but uh, we expect when we move into July there might be some renewed wet phase of the modern Julian oscillation then a possibility of tropical cyclone formation will again appear across the Philippine Sea and the Western Pacific so, so far for this last two weeks of June it is probably be uh, just localized thunderstorms in the afternoon evening but no tropical cyclone formation but we don't know during the last week of June and we will uh, be giving you the very latest in the coming weeks and days okay and uh, here's the latest from Pagasa this is the tropical cyclone uh, threat potential which is uh, the coming which is uh, coming from the source of the uh, American model to the uh, uh, Central Weather Administration of Taiwan. And so far, based on the Pag-Asa Monitoring Domain, or PMD, it looks like uh, we, are, we, are, we are all clear 
during the week 1 and week 2 that means on uh, June 16 until June 29 we don't have any vortex or low pressure systems that is expected to form based on the current uh, computer model output so this is uh, valid every a few days so uh, we will be giving you the latest from Pagasa so this is their uh, take on the global topics hazards outlook okay so we will be giving you both of these uh, updates but so far everything is clear for the next two weeks now for the El Nino and La Nina update those of you who are asking what's the latest right now so far we will remain uh, neutral for the rest of 2025 until the early months of 2026 based on the latest uh, June 12 update from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA of the National Weather Service of the United States and right now it's generally normal neutral when it comes to the climate conditions across the globe and here's the latest as of June uh, the latest right now it's uh, more than 90% neutral and it will go down up to uh, 48% come October November December but again uh, it will go up to uh, uh, 56 percent by january february to march 2026 so generally speaking we are on a neutral condition there's no el nino there is no la nina but there are hints of uh, la nina returning but so far the neutral conditions i mean the higher probability right now okay so uh, we expect normal weather normal tropical cycle formation for the rest of 2025 and so far that's the latest for this uh, wednesday to friday and we'll return this weekend for another update from typhoon 2000 this is mike padua saying uh, uh, stay safe always be hashtag weatherwiser and don't forget to subscribe to our channel click the like button for the very latest of our updates Thank you so much for watching. God bless to all.